the next topic that we are going to be dealing with is the parcel's identity. Just uh, learn these formulae. 1 by L into integral of minus L to L f of x square uh, f of x the whole square dx is equal to uh, a naught square by 2 plus summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity uh, a n square plus b n square. And for uh, when your limits are from 0 to 2L, this is the same thing again. Okay? For half range series, half range cosine series or even uh, that is nothing but for all even functions, we have bn equal to 0. Uh, therefore, uh, 2 by L from 0 to L, uh, f of x, the whole square dx is equal to a naught square by 2 plus summation of n is equal to 1. Uh, up to infinity a n square b n is equal to 0 so that is not written here then half range sine series for all odd functions we have 2 by l from 0 to l f of x the whole square dx is equal to summation of n is equal to 1 up to infinity b n uh, b n square and a n is equal to 0 now let us take an important question under this topic prove that when x lies between 0 to l, x is equal to l by 2 minus 4l by pi square into cos pi x by l plus 3 square cos 3, uh, 3 pi x by l and so on. And also deduce, and also deduce that 1 by 1 power 4 plus 1 by 3 power 4 plus 1 by 5 power 4 up to infinity is equal to pi power 4 by 96. Since our uh, function, it has only cos terms, as uh, there are only cosine terms, the half range for your series will be f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus summation of n is equal to 1 up to infinity a n cos n by x by l. Okay? So we have a naught equal to 2 by L from 0 to L f of x dx. That's nothing but 2 by L from 0 to 2, right? From 0 to 2 x dx. Let's integrate. Sorry, 0 to L x dx. So x square by 2 from 0 to L into 2 by L. 2 and 2 gets cancelled. On substituting we have L square by L. That gives us L. So what is our A naught? A naught comes out to be L. Now we'll be finding A, uh, A n. A n is equal to 2 by L from 0 to L f of x cos n by x by L dx. That is nothing but 2 by L from 0 to L. What is our f of x? f of x is nothing but x cos n by x by L dx. Right? Now again you will be using the I late rule and the UV rule. And what will you get after integrating? You get x into sin n by x by l divided by n by l minus minus cos n by x by l divided by n by l the whole square with your limits 0 to l integration is the crux of this chapter Without that, you will not be able to do anything. So please do revise your concepts well. Following which, on further substituting the limit, or first let us just reduce this expression further. We will get L square by N square pi square cos N by X by L from 0 to L. And on substituting the limits, we get 2L by N square pi square 
into cos n pi minus cos 0. Cos 0 is 1. Cos n pi is equal to minus 1 by minus 1 power n. So what is our a n? A n comes out to be 2L divided by n square pi square into minus 1 power n minus 1. Okay? So now when n is even, a n comes out to be 0. And when n is equal to odd, then a n will come out to be minus 4L divided by n square pi square. Okay? Next, x is equal to L by 2 plus summation. Do your four, four year series, 1, 3, 5, etc. up to infinity minus 4L divided by n square pi square cos n pi x by L. We further evaluate L by 2 minus 4L by pi square. We are taking out the constant terms. Summation of 1, 3, 5 up to infinity. 1 divided by n square cos n pi x by L. Now we open up this term a little more. L by 2 minus 4L by pi square. We cannot keep it in this form because we need to find a certain we need to find this. We need to deduce that this expression is equal to pi power 4 by 96. That's why we are opening it up. So L by 2 minus 4L by pi square. We'll be substituting 1 by 1. So when n is equal to 1, we get cos uh, pi x by L plus 1 by 3 square. So there's nothing but 1 by 1 square, cos pi, uh, pi x by L, 1 by 3 square, cos 3 pi x by L, and so on. Okay? So now taking parcels identity, 2 by L from 0 to L, f of x, the whole square dx is equal to a naught square by 2 plus summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity a n square. Right? So we'll be further evaluating from zero to uh, from zero to L x square dx is equal to L square by two plus summation of n is equal to one up to uh, one three five up to infinity. We'll get sixteen L square by n power four pi power four. Then we have two by L. Integration of x square is equal to x cubed by 3 from 0 to L is equal to L square by 2 plus, take out the constant terms, 16 L square by pi power 4, summation of n is equal to 1, 3, 5 up to infinity. We'll have L by n power 4. Sorry, we'll have 1 by n power 4. We have taken out the L. Okay? That's equal to 2L square by 3. Take the L square by 2 to the left side. And we have 16L square by pi power 4. Now on substituting, when we substitute 1, we'll get 1 by 1 power 4. 3, we'll get 1 by 3 power 4, 1 by 5 power 4, and so on, right? Following which, take the LCM, you will get 4L square minus 3L square by 6, that's equal to 16L square by, by, by 4, into 1 divided by 1 power 4, 1 divided by 3, power 4, 1 divided by 5 power 4, and so on. That is nothing but L square by 6. We will take this term to the left hand side. That is pi power 4 divided by 16 into L square. 
that is equal to 1 divided by 1 power 4 plus 1 divided by 3 power 4 plus 1 divided by 5 power 4 up to infinity. Finally, we'll get pi power 4 L square L square gets cancelled. Pi power 4 divided by 96 is equal to the required expression.